it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley viewer requested video. This one is the small backpack in the Blue Thunder um, cozy or fuzzy version. This was requested by Janie, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a load test or a fit test. And since I just today moved into my trolley crossbody from Lug, we're just going to use the exact same stuff, so it's my normal daily purse stuff, and we'll see how it fits in here. I can tell you it will fit better than it fits in here because this is a smaller bag, although small but mighty, surprisingly big inside. Okay, so what we'll do is first take a quick look at this bag. It has a single pocket on the front. It does have a pretty interior pattern. It's sort of like the bloom shower pattern, actually which is the reactive pattern. And there's a slip pocket. There's also two pen slots in this pocket. And then there's just some pocket space. It has its own gusset space. Then behind that is the main compartment, a double zipper. It opens all the way up. You have a zipper on the back, two slips on the front, and then the main compartment has quite a bit of space there. It is super soft, fuzzy, it's really cool. It does have water bottle pockets on the side that you can use for a phone or a water bottle or keys or anything you want quick access to. There's no magnet or connection or zipper, it's just open, but you could use it for a lot of things. And then you have also another slip pocket on the back of the bag and it doesn't have a magnet either. I think that's supposed to be like the phone pocket. Your phone does not fit vertically this pocket only goes to about here. I don't know why it only goes to there. In my opinion, it should go all the way to the bottom for multiple reasons, but it is limited. So your phone will fit there. So let's just do that first. We got the phone. There's the uh, Bramble phone case, which also matches this bag too, yay. Um, it will fit sideways, but it's a little tight. So you kind of have to tip it to get it in. So tip it to get it out, but it does, it fits in there and it just lays down very nicely. It comes to, like the phone is right here. So it has some gap above, but you can reach in and grab it with just your fingers in there. So that looks well. So we'll put the phone in there. And then, let's see. So if you watch this video, which was my last video, I did change something around. I had at first the wallet, the rodeo, in the front pocket. But once I moved into it, it was thicker and no longer fit there. So I switched the sunglasses to the front and the wallet to the back. So the wallet there, as you can see, is a little, it's a little bulgy because I put everything that was in that big wallet into this little one. Does fit, does work, but there you go. So that clears out the back pocket. In the front, we have sunglasses, two pens, all of my extra things from the wallet. This like, like coupons and med list, whatever. Multi-tool, squeezy light, you've got miscellaneous pouches and pockets in here. Let's just grab everything out. Oops, we're attached to the bungee, of course. Okay, got a notebook, business cards, we got stuff in the clear pocket. Do, 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 do. We've got the heart pouch, which we'll need to transfer because we need what's in it. Inside the pocket, hand sanitizer stuff and chapstick. And the other keys. Okay, so that's everything out of this bag. Yeah, let's put it in this bag. Should be plenty easy. Okay. So, inside here we have one slip pocket. Let's see what we want to put in there. Hmm, one slip there, two slips here. So what these go inside versus front side? I think we'll put the manicure kit in the front and also the business cards in that same pocket. We're gonna use the pen slots. There's one pen, two pen. And also in this pocket, I think we'll put the headphones and our miscellaneous paper things. 
because those are kind of flat but need a space to call home. And I think that'll be good. Yeah. We're going to call that good. And this normally zips up really easy. I still have the tag on it because I haven't used it yet. Disregard the tag. Okay. So then we have two slips inside. I think one will be for this pouch that has our gum and mints. And that does fit. The other will be for our notebook. Fits perfectly right there. We'll put the keys in here, all of them. Ooh, all of them. All the keys in the key pocket. Now, everything else, we've got a wallet, we've got some almonds, sunglasses, everything's protected. This stuff is all just gonna go loose in the bottom. That's fine. Nothing's gonna get hurt at all. And this can go on the outside, but we're just gonna put it on the inside. So now that I got everything in here, it all does stack nicely. Everything is accessible and it looks disorganized, but actually everything, you could see it at a glance and find it blindly with your hands. It's not overfilled. It's actually quite nice and good weight and balance. So plenty of room for more. I could put my planner in here. Uh, a small tablet or reader, not my tablet, but you could put a tablet in there. Still plenty of room for water bottle or two. Yeah, so lots of options. I could also put some glass thing on the outside, but I'd rather have it on the inside unless there's a reason to have it on the outside. This is soft and cozy though. It's like holding on to your little stuffed animal and walking around with it. It's so fun. Uh, yeah, that's a first. It's the only piece I have like that. But then it fits nicely. You can wear it on one shoulder, either shoulder. Sorry again, disregard the tag there. But very comfortably, and then you can, of course, wear it completely hands-free, even with my baggy shirt, very comfortable, very easy. There you go. So, lots of options. Again, I like my backpacks kind of loose. You can, of course, tighten the straps, or these even go farther out, actually. But that's it, easy peasy. And once again, small backpack in thunder blue. Retails for 95, I didn't pay that. You know, it was on sale and I had a coupon, so always better to have a discount, right? Speaking of which, Vera is having a sale right now and I think it's 25% off backpacks, crossbodies, something like that. But check out the site, you can see for yourself and uh, that'll go on through the weekend. So, hope you're doing well. Have a great weekend. This is the last of the videos for today and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.